welcome to a new vlog. I'm so excited for this vlog because we are in Florida this week. I feel like I haven't done a week in my life vlog in quite some time, but I thought this would be a really fun week because we are going all along the coast of Florida. Today is actually Sunday. We got here on Friday and Friday we spent a couple of days in Orlando with a couple of friends and we're just hanging out with them. So I didn't really vlog much there, but we went to Disney Springs, ate some good food around there. But now we are about to spend a night in St. Augustine, which is about, I would say two hours from Orlando. And it looks super cute. We're staying at an Airbnb that's on the beach over there. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll show you guys that. We've been driving since about 10 30 this morning so we've had a nice little morning drive but we're gonna be there here soon so i think when we get there we're just gonna walk around the historic downtown area and then go see our airbnb when we can check in around four tomorrow we're actually headed down to delray beach we're spending the week with aiden's family because his cousin is actually getting married so we're gonna be in what's that delray yeah. we're gonna be near delray for the wedding that is on friday so I'm excited to just take you guys along this week and share everything that we do. When we first got to St. Augustine, our check-in for our Airbnb wasn't until four. So we started off by going to the historic district and my Melissa was the one who told me that I should come here because it really reminds me a lot of Charleston, which is one of my favorite places I've ever been to. For coffee, we went to Kookaburra, I think I'm saying that right. Which always reminds me of my niece Charlotte because she would always sing this Kookaburra song when she was really young. We then walked around and went and saw the famous monument that's there in St. Augustine, which was really beautiful. And then on the way out, we stopped by Custo's Waffle and Milkshake Bar and I got a Nutella waffle and we shared it, me and Aiden, and it was so good. Okay, here's a tour of our place. It's basically the top floor of another person's home. So this is kind of an apartment space, but you walk in, got a nice porch out here. There's just a couple blocks until the beach. So it's pretty close. Then there's a nice big TV room. Got a pretty kitchen. And then you walk through here and there's two bedrooms. So we got one bedroom right here. Just nice and cozy. Got a nice full length mirror. Then we go this way. And then here is the bathroom. I haven't seen the bathroom, it's cute. Very modern. Then we go through here and then there's a second bedroom. Which is also super cute. Got another full length mirror. And then you walk back this way and then you're back to the front. And then here is the little balcony. It's so nice out here. It's actually quite chilly, but really pretty out here. Not sure if you can hear me because it is a bit windy outside, but it is about five o'clock right now. We have just been hanging out at the Airbnb. This Airbnb is actually so nice. It is right by the beach. You can hear the waves and we are gonna watch the sunset tonight, which I'm so excited for, even though I know the sun actually sets on the west coast of Florida, I believe, not the east coast, but I'm also gonna watch the sunrise tomorrow because daylight savings was last night, which is so nice because now the sun rises a little bit later but the sun sets later i think it sets at 7 30 tonight so and then i had made a reservation for us at a place called catch 27 because i love seafood but i never really eat seafood in texas just because i feel like it tastes better when you're getting it by the beach so we might end up eating there which is closer into st augustine it is so nice one of my favorite things is finding just cool airbnbs to visit and we booked this trip pretty last minute so there weren't a ton available but this one is so cute so i'm so excited to stay here i think i'm gonna keep on my maxi dress i'll show you guys what i'm wearing there was also a cold front that blew in so it's like 50 degrees which i'm pretty sure is pretty abnormal for this time of year in florida but it's pretty chilly so my dress is from my newly order i got this in i showed this in a recent vlog and a haul video but it's so cute looks like a sunset and i've just been wearing it with my steve madden boots but it's funny because it's actually called sunsets by the beach and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna wear this on the beach so it'll be perfect but yeah i'm just so happy i love being in florida i love being in the sun near the beach seriously one of my favorite places ever and it's just so much fun going to 
all of these places that we've never visited especially because Aiden and I actually kind of waited to do a lot of traveling until we got married and so it's really sweet getting to do all these things now but for the rest of the trip we will actually be with his family but I'm still gonna be vlogging them but it's so much fun just getting to not really have an agenda and just like pick whatever we want to do St. Augustine was also so cute today there were so many cute places to explore my friend Melissa was actually the one who told me that we should visit there because it kind of reminds me a lot of Charleston which I've been to I think we're just gonna hang out here for a couple of hours because we've been going 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 and then freshen up get ready for dinner and watch the sunset i am currently redoing my makeup the lighting is a little bit funky but it's so funny having so much space because we have two bedrooms so i'm literally in one of the bedrooms on the floor <laughs> redoing my makeup because i don't know if you guys can tell but my skin is definitely not really great i've got a lot of texture a lot of bumps if you've been along i've talked about going off of hormonal birth control and my skin ever since then has been not great at all but it's kind of just something that i think i have to stick out and try to get better i did notice a difference when i started using cerave products i think this side is a lot more clear than this side but for some reason i keep getting the same pimples here and i think i'm just gonna keep on my dress too because i really love this dress and it is the warmest dress that I happened to pack because I was not expecting it to be this chilly here. We just ran over to Publix because we're gonna make a little charcuterie board. It is about 6.30, so the sun is still setting right now. I think we'll go over there around eight, but we both got a little bit hungry. So putting together a little charcuterie with some apples, cheese, and then some brie crackers. And I've never tried this brand, but I wanted to try this Hum Probiotic Kombucha. It looks good, and I also like that there's only nine grams of added sugar. Sometimes these have a lot of added sugar in them, but this one looks good. So I'm probably gonna bring this down to the beach as well. taking photos and watching the sunset, which was really pretty, but we are headed back downtown to St. Augustine in the historic area. We're gonna eat dinner at a place called Catch 27. I think they have mostly seafood and then a few other things, so should be good. Dinner at Catch 27 was amazing. I would definitely recommend if you're visiting, we went and got the shrimp tacos that ate and got a shrimp pasta and it was delicious. It is pretty early right now. I am actually headed to the beach to go watch the sunrise. Oh my gosh, it sounds so pretty right now. I happened to leave my microphone in the car last night though, and I kind of just rolled out of bed, so I don't know how the audio is right now, but I'm hoping that you can pick up on the birds because they sound so nice. But yeah, Aiden is definitely someone who prefers to sleep in a little bit longer, which I totally understand. We were also up late last night. We were watching Marley and Me, which is so random. We wanted to watch it because it's filmed here in Florida. But I'm so excited. You can kind of see it coming up right now. It's so pretty outside. I brought my devotional too. So we were just going to read my devotional by the beach. Oh my goodness, it's already so pretty. But yeah, I literally just rolled out of bed because we were up so late last night. Yeah, let's go see it.
I'm just getting some work done right now. It's about 8.30, but something I wanted to say is one, I have a really bad hat indent right now for my hat, but two, my skin is breaking out a lot as I had mentioned earlier. And sometimes I will find myself, especially before a vacation or something, feeling super bummed out about it, feeling just really insecure about it. But I just want anyone else to know who is also dealing with acne, that you still have the freedom to enjoy your life even when you have acne. You don't need to always cover it up. You don't need to be so insecure about it that it is just a part of life. And I don't know what it is where when your skin looks like this or this or worse or better, sometimes you think that you just don't have the freedom to fully enjoy everything the same way because you're just thinking about your skin, thinking about how people are perceiving you and it's all in your head, it does not matter. And I catch myself sometimes kind of almost holding myself back because I feel insecure about my skin and feeling like I always need to cover it up. And I just want this to be your message this morning, this is really random and I was thinking about this, that you can still enjoy your life, do the things that you love, even when you have acne. You don't wanna look back on your life and think that you missed out on seizing every moment because you're insecure about your skin. And if you wanna cover it up, that is also fine too. If that makes you feel better, do what you want. I am gonna put on some makeup later but our checkout is at 10 so we have a couple of hours here but Aiden actually is working a half day and I need to get a lot of work done too so I think we're gonna head to a coffee shop for probably half of the day and then we are driving down to Delray later this evening so we have about a four to five hour drive and then we're meeting up with Aiden's mom my mother-in-law so I'm really excited I actually slept in this t-shirt last night, but it is the best. It's from Target. It's just the comfiest tee ever. Zara wide leg jeans, which I honestly have liked so much more since I wore them and they've really conformed to my body. The knees are huge now. They've stretched quite a bit, but I think they're really comfy and then just some white sneakers. So we need to check out in 10 minutes. Aiden is taking a shower. Like I said, we're gonna head over to a coffee shop and just get some work done. But yeah, this Airbnb has been so nice. I wish we were here for longer because it is just the perfect spot. So quiet, so bright. I would definitely recommend if you're visiting the area. I also love this beach too. just left Starbucks and now we are hitting the road to drive. I just wanted to share this because this is another real life moment, but essentially we are renting this car for the week and I have this running joke that every time we go to get a car because we're not 25 yet, you just have less options typically, but the people are always so nice and they let us upgrade. And so by the way, Aiden's at Chick-fil-A right now. He's grabbing lunch. I ate at Starbucks. I'm not super hungry. The guy was so nice though, and he upgraded us to a Mustang, which is so much fun to drive when you're in Florida. And this has happened once before too, where we get kind of the base car and they're like, oh, would you like to have a Mustang? And they're just really kind and give us an upgrade for like $50 or whatever. So we ended up doing that. We were driving on the highway and a pebble was kicked onto the windshield and our windshield cracked which is not great and thankfully we have car insurance and we got this car insured when we did it through the rental or whatever when you can add on per day we weren't even behind a big semi that kicked it up or anything that had rocks in it it was just a normal car that flung it over and our windshield cracked so we have a giant crack in our windshield right now which i don't think is entirely safe to be driving on so we should probably figure that out also for some reason when we're driving the car sounds like the window isn't shut on my side so it's really loud when you're on the highway and we're mostly going to be driving on the highway we're doing a lot of driving this trip so a little bit unfortunate but thankfully we just have a car to use so i'm thankful for that that's another real life moment So we just got to our hotel. What is, is this a Hilton, Aiden? No, it's a Marriott. It's a Marriott, but we got a nice little balcony over here. It's actually a super gloomy day here today, so it's not much sun, but. You can see the ocean. Yeah. Wait, got a bedroom. This is a giant bed. Oh, nice. It's A1A right there. 
Wait, how do I open these? Mmm. Mmm. There we go. So nice. It's pretty windy out. Wow, it's windy. And then we got our bathroom. So Aiden's brother is going to be staying in here too when he comes. But got our bathroom. Got a nice full length mirror. Aiden taking pictures. And then back here. And then there's also like a nice little kitchen area too. So. I just finished getting ready. We are about to go head out to get some dinner with Aiden's mom and just go explore around. I got this out from a boutique in Fredericksburg. I'll try to link something similar, but I don't think I could find an actual link. And then these are just my favorite Madewell jeans. They're frayed on the bottom. I think they're super cute. And then my sandals that I'm wearing are from Steve Madden. They're actually really comfortable, even though they do have a slight heel. from dinner which was so nice we went to this place called the office there are so many restaurants here though so i'm excited to eat out a bit more i got this salmon bowl and it actually tasted very healthy which was good i wanted something that had a lot of vegetables and yeah i've been trying to eat a lot of seafood just while we're here near the beach where it actually tastes really great but yeah it's about 9 30 tomorrow i actually have a bit of work to do in the morning and then i'm so excited i'm meeting up with a friend tomorrow night a couple of friends which i will vlog because we are actually recording some podcasts together and grabbing dinner so that'll be a lot of fun it's gonna be another busy day i think we're gonna wake up and go for a walk aiden's brother is studying abroad right now so he's gonna come i believe on wednesday he's coming and he's actually gonna be sleeping on our couch out there in the suite that's why we have this very large room right now but i'm so excited but i'm also very tired so i think we're gonna head to bed and probably watch something for a little bit but i will catch you guys tomorrow for our first full day here in started the day off with a walk. Aiden's family loves walking a lot, which I really appreciate. So we got plenty of walks on this trip. We walked over to the Colombian coffee house, which was one of the only local coffee shops, I think in the area. There weren't a ton and this one was really amazing. I just got a cold brew. And then Pliables is also another location that we hit up so many times. They have smoothies, smoothie bowls, and I like them because they also have acai bowls that are with greens instead of acai. And then they also had coconut bowls. Really good. I think there's multiple locations, but we went there quite a few times on this trip. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday morning today. We are just doing some work this morning because Aiden is working most of today. I just needed to post my video and also finish up some edits on a video, but it is another very gloomy day. So I don't think it's gonna be a beach day today, but so far this morning, we went ahead and just went for a walk, got some coffee. We just went to a smoothie place called Pliables, which was really good. I got a green smoothie just to get some greens in and then walked along the beach, but it is so windy, which is why my hair is a little bit crazy right now now, but I think for the rest of the day, we're just gonna be walking around and exploring. But also this evening, I'm so excited because I'm meeting up with my friend Rachel because she has a podcast with her friend Anna. And we're actually gonna be recording a podcast for, I think just my podcast, because I think that's all we're gonna have time for and grabbing dinner. And she's just been one of my internet friends for a little bit. So I'm so excited to meet her. She lives kind of closer to Miami. So I'm gonna drive down there and meet them. I also self tan last night, so. My hands are a little bit orange. I need to wash it off before we go. But I think that'll be most of the evening, but I'm excited to drive down there because I spent a little bit of time in Miami, but never around that area. So it'll be nice to do that. And yeah, just have a chill day. Just responding to some comments right now, getting some work done, like I mentioned. We are back now from walking with Aiden's aunt who came over and I'm now about to head over to see my friends, Rachel and Anna. I think they're about an hour away, but I'm anticipating getting in a bit of traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave here soon i just changed into this button down my wide leg jeans and then the same sandals from earlier and we're gonna head out i'm excited to get some driving in though because i realized i didn't want to be one of those people who just contributed to all the negative scary birth stories you hear mm -hmm. Super pretty, it's just a little bit windy, so I don't even know you can hear me, but.
people don't think that much, and I don't think it involves that much effort. No, I, I don't think enough. So. No, I I think you, that is one of the things that I liked about like listening to your stuff. Though I was like, oh, she is thinking kind of. She's thing. an intellectual. Oh. Yeah. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. We are just headed out for the day, going for a walk. It's about 7.45 right now. We're gonna meet Aiden's mom in her place and then just go and get some coffee. Sorry, it's so windy, but it's so beautiful out here that I've been wanting to record out here. Last night was so much fun. We ended up doing our podcast and we went to this restaurant called Terrazas, I believe is how it was, I say it, but it was so pretty. It was close to the water. I think I got there around four o'clock no 4 30 and we were there until probably 9 30 at night it was so much fun getting to meet rachel and anna and just see her place in florida and then also get to explore around where she lives by the time you're listening to this that podcast is up if you want to listen to it we talked about a bunch of different things and got i would say a little bit more deep so if you want to check that out i'll have it down below i just put on this exercise dress i got this from holara but it's kind of hard to get because it takes about a month to ship, but I also have the exercise dress from Outdoor Voices and I really like that one. Aiden's brother's coming in town, so we're gonna pick him up from the airport. And then we also have some family things to do tonight for the wedding, just some wedding events with the family. So that'll be a ton of fun. But I also wanna try to get a workout in today too. So I'll probably do that, which I don't always work out on vacation, but sometimes it's nice when I'm just feeling a good run. It's so nice outside here. So I think going for a run. So we actually have a couple of hours of sunlight it looks like. So I am headed to the beach because I'm trying to soak up any amount of sun that I can get while we're here. But I wanted to show you guys my swimsuit because this was a splurge item I bought last year. It's definitely a pricier swimsuit, but it's so cute. And it is the best swimsuit. So I'm wearing a small in the top and a small in the bottom. The top is just straight like this. I love the sleeves on it. And then the bottoms I'll try to show, they are high-waisted and they're not super cheeky or anything, but they tie at the top and they're really cute. So I'll have a link down below if you're interested. I definitely think it's worth the price because I have worn this last season too and it stayed really great. So we're gonna head to the beach. I'm probably just gonna bring my book and just be there for about an hour. I spent the day at the beach. Aiden was actually working this day, so I just went by myself and also went to Pliables again, and I got another green bowl. Actually, I got a green bowl instead of a green smoothie like I did the first time, and it was amazing. They also had a ton of shops, so I went and just walked around and did some shopping on Atlantic Ave. I am back to the hotel now. It was so nice getting to walk around because it's essentially the first sunny day that it's been when we've been here in Delray. And so it feels amazing to go out and soak up the sunshine and definitely wearing sunscreen too. But I think it's actually about to rain. So back in the hotel, I'm gonna do a couple of work things before getting ready for this evening. But first I wanna show you guys that I went to Urban Outfitters and actually Morgan who was working there, she ended up being a subscriber, which was so sweet. So if she happens to be watching this, thanks for saying hi. I wanted to share the things that I got because I got here and realized that I had decluttered all of my shorts and I don't own a single pair of shorts right now so I went ahead and picked up a couple of denim shorts because these ones were super cute. I got this pair that is kind of more of a cutoff style but I like these because they're a bit longer. I got these ones in a 26 and I really like how they're just frayed at the bottom and super comfortable and then these ones I got in a size 27 because these ones I think ran a little bit smaller. Also got these rolled ones which I thought were super cute. I really like that these are a lighter wash too and those are both so comfortable. And then I also always wear this tank top that I have from Urban. It's such a great piece for layering. It looks like this. It's so cute. I love the color how it's yellow. I have a green one. I was going to get a white one but they didn't have my size. I got this in a large because it runs I would say a little bit smaller so I would size up up one or two sizes. I would normally be a small and I got this in a large. And then I saw these crop tops, which I thought would be so great just for everyday wear because I have, now I don't really have any cut off t-shirts and I'm trying to get more basics. And so I really liked this one. It's just a white cut off tee, super soft. And I also got these in a large too, cause they seem like they ran. I think everything now just runs really small. So I always like to size up a couple of sizes, but I also got this in tan too because I thought that these would be nice with high-waisted shorts, high-waisted jeans. That's everything I got. I'll have those linked down below if you're interested, but I think I'm just gonna finish up some work and I will update you guys when I'm getting ready. I just realized that our hotel actually has laundry, which is so nice. So I'm gonna do a load of laundry just because it's kind of nice to do it gradually instead of going home and just having all these dirty clothes to clean. So we're gonna do a load of laundry. I'm gonna throw some Eden stuff in too before we get ready. I 
it just tidied up the place because I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand when the hotel room is cluttered, but it always happens. Here is the outfit for tonight. I got this dress from Petal and Puff. I think it's super cute and springy. And then my sandals are my same little Steve Madden ones. I probably won't be vlogging too much just because we're gonna be hanging out with Aiden's family. And I think this is at one of the golf club resorts around here. And yeah, it's for Aiden's cousin who's getting married, so. Thursday morning last night was so much fun getting to see everybody but now I'm about to head out to get a workout in it's about 8 30 I'm just feeling it today I never really push myself to work out on vacation but sometimes I just really crave going for a run and I really want to lift weights right now for some reason and so I think I'm going to do a 30 minute run and then lift some weights down in the gym even though it's beautiful outside I am not used to working out in humidity so I don't think that's going to happen but I probably am going to go grab a celsius because I think I need a little bit of caffeine before then Go back from my workout and then i went over and grabbed some coffee but i think we're gonna go ahead and get ready and try to go to the beach for a little bit just because it has been raining so much here and there's basically pockets of when it's kind of just cloudy and not raining and so i'm hoping that it won't rain while we're there but i'm trying to go to the ocean as much as possible while we're here because i think that that's the best part about being by the beach obviously so workout was good i just did a three mile run did some abs and then did a little bit of arm workouts too so very good feels good just kind of a light workout i just finished getting ready i'm wearing this swimsuit i showed you guys this in another video one of my other vlogs that i did just this black swimsuit from airy it has high-waisted bottoms too and then i just threw on the same urban outfitter shorts and this is just a white button down from free people and then i got this bag last year from urban but i really like it it's a great beach bag <laughs> getting ready but the beach was so nice it ended up being pretty sunny most of the time which was fun but now i'm doing my hair and i think i just didn't wash my hair after i was in the ocean because i like the way the salt water makes my hair more texturized because my hair is so straight so i think i'm just gonna blow dry it and then put some of my wave spray in and i think that'll be good There's an area in Palm Beach that's called Manatee Lagoon and apparently there are quite a few manatee sightings here because the water's pretty warm. So we went there and we didn't end up seeing any because I think you kind of have to sit and wait for them and we were just stopping by, but we did see a stingray, which was cool. And then afterwards we went over to kind of the fancy part of Palm Beach. It's called Poinciana Plaza. I believe I'm saying that right. Probably saying it wrong though. <laughs> and it was really fun to window shop. Obviously very expensive store, so did not buy anything, but very beautiful. And then we ended up going to our favorite Dallas restaurant that happened to have a Palm Beach location. It's called the Honor Bar and it was amazing. And the couple next to us actually ended up talking to us for 30 minutes and it was really sweet. I just woke up and it is our last morning here. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and go watch the sunrise because it's starting to come up right now. It's a beautiful day. 
Um, it's about seven o'clock right now, and again, it's probably one of my favorite things to do, so. from Aerie and then my same little button down and jeans but we're gonna go to the beach for the next few hours and then this evening is actually the wedding which is why we're here I think the wedding starts at 4 and then obviously goes into the evening so it's gonna be a lot of fun showered and I honestly don't have that much time to get ready for this wedding Aiden and his brother just ran to Target to run an errand so I'm gonna get ready probably have an hour and it's like a pretty much a black tie wedding so I'm just gonna do a little transformation because I need to blow dry my hair so here's my before and there we go I showed this dress in one of my recent vlogs but it's from Lulu's I also just got this purse from Anthropology because I didn't have any purse to wear with this and then my earrings. I don't really remember where these are from. I've had these for quite a bit of time now. Is the fit. Good morning. I'm actually recording this on my phone because I ended up leaving my camera in our car last night and our car is parked and it's really early right now. It's not even that early, but we got back so late that I am so tired. We are catching our flight today. Our flight is at 11.30, so it's about 7.20 right now. I actually need to pack up. Our room is kind of a disaster. We need to clean up and everything. There's a wind tunnel. But I'm definitely ready to go home. The nice thing about having a dog is it always makes leaving vacation so much easier because you can't wait to see your puppy. So I can't wait to see him. We are going to be back in Texas here soon, but I'm catching my last, I guess, I said yesterday was my last sunrise, but this is technically my last sunrise before we need to head out. that trip was so much fun. I always say my toxic trait is wanting to move every single place that we visit because it's so much fun going there on vacation, but seriously, such a beautiful trip. We had a really, really great time and it was just so much fun for me to edit. I love having these videos to look back on, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and get ready for some spring content. This video I'm filming right now is about refreshing for spring and I'm really excited for it. So thank you guys for being here. If you wanna stick around, I post every Tuesday and Saturday. I'd love to have you subscribe and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.